Hi, it's Paul Browning from HowToNetwork.com. I normally do written blog posts, but today I felt like doing something different um, because I wanted to communicate quite an important subject uh, to you and express my thoughts and feelings on the subject. I'm sure you've uh, noticed changes in the uh, IT industry. They've been percolating for a while, but uh, in, say, the past 12 months or so, they've really come to the forefront in terms of certifications and, what, um, and the direction people, are, such as yourself, are looking to take their IT careers. Um, a whole bunch of opportunities have opened up to people that haven't been available for many years. And uh, I started out very much with the Cisco CCNA certification. I've been running courses in classrooms um, and also created a lot of books which are still for sale on Amazon. And the thought struck to me is, um, is that is the Cisco CCNA still a relevant exam? Because some people seem to be moving into, into different fields and uh, leaving it behind. And I certainly, certainly noticed that. So I just wanted to cover a few points here. Uh, and as I said, the times are changing, things are changing. So there's a whole other career that people are looking into now, um, programming. DevOps, um, I'm sure you've heard of this, is a, a massive uh, subject uh, with a whole bunch of smaller subjects uh, within Solid, such as Docker, containerization, and you can uh, get certified now in uh, Docker. Cloud computing, uh, we've been talking about uh, for a few years but in particularly now and it's been included in the uh, CCNA syllabus at the request of Google's uh, customers. Biggest uh, player in the market is Amazon still closely followed by Google and then Azure. Uh, security is another field in its own right and it's something you can pursue. It's always been that case obviously uh, but it's still a hot topic. Project management, I know a lot of people that are in project management and in technical project management in the in the IT field. And I pulled up um, the highest paying jobs. Uh, the source is Forbes.com, uh, fa fairly recent, and it's listed in the highest paying to the lowest, um, only the first 10. Now, obviously this isn't written in tablets of stone because a senior network engineer, for example, could make more than this, especially if they're working in the uh, banking industry and in a, a large city. Uh, so it just depends. But you can see software is at the top, data scientist, DevOps, software, more software, uh, front-end developer, software, database admin, and then .NET. So there's a lot of software stuff in there. And um, it could be tempting for a person to go into, into these particular fields obviously because it pays really well. If you're not familiar at the moment what's in the CCN exam, these are just some of the topics. There's, you can look at the syllabus yourself, there's, it's a lot bigger. TCP IP, which all of our networks run at the core, the uh, services and protocols. IP version 6, which we're all transitioning to, and around I think 60% of network our traffic on the internet is IPv6 at the moment. A routing including BGP, Switching and VLANs, uh, wireless and security, uh, network troubleshooting, uh, subnetting, which is a bugbear for many people. I actually wrote a course and their book just to help people who are stuck on their subnetting. Uh, wide area networking, uh, I think that might be the end of the list, but these are all things that are essential and there's probably no network around that doesn't have all of these things involved. Uh, to some degree. Uh, so somebody needs to know how all of this works, no matter what happens afterwards in terms of programming and virtualization and uh, cloud computing, all this is still uh, necessary. Oh, and hands-on configuration and troubleshooting. So uh, what, what could a Cisco CCNA actually do? So you've done your studying, for example, you've passed the exam, what could you actually go and do the following day when you've got your piece of paper? Well, you should be able to configure an entire network from VLANs to routing and security. I'm not saying you could go into a massive company and uh, do the entire network, but um, small to medium size uh, companies, you should be um, be able to do all, all of the things listed in the syllabus, uh, mainly because you've read about it, so you know the theory, but also you've had to do the configuration and troubleshooting. Never used to be the case, but for the past few years, and particularly now, you, you do have to be able to do all of this. 
net network troubleshooting all the way through to cables, checking VLAN problems, routing, uh, IP, uh, IPv4 addressing and protocols, subnetting and troubleshooting and using both together, uh, dual stack. Configure and troubleshoot uh, a lot of common TCP protocols such as NAT, SSH, ping, uh, DNS, DHCP and use various uh, TCP troubleshooting tools such as traceroute uh, and so on. All right, so why bother? Is it is it worth you putting the effort in? I just did a quick search on jobserve.com. All I did was put in the keyword Cisco CCNA. It pulled up over 1200 jobs uh, as of today when I've um, done this blog post. Some of them are listed for hourly, some of them don't have the salary listed and some as the one here you can see has the salary listed and they're requiring um, CCNA level or above obviously. Um, these are in various uh, states. So it's still a highly, uh, highly sought after qualification. It still pays well. Uh, I, you should actually be in the uh, top 10 list. Um, and you can see, for example, if you look at this network engineer job, this would make the top 10 list um, for the Forbes. Uh, helps you get your foot in the door, especially if you're looking to make a career change like I did. The Cisco CCNA is highly uh, valued, especially because uh, companies that buy Cisco equipment need to have qualified engineers so they get a discount and they get better um, preferential rates for the support contracts. Now this is the crux really, the Cisco CCNA level engineer will understand the network from top to bottom. Not as well as the Cisco CCMP engineer would, but you will still understand it to a pretty good level and be able to communicate with uh, the network managers, the IT managers and different departments also. Uh, you'll understand TCP IP which runs at the core of all of our networks. You'll also be pretty uh, up to date with new developments. The CCNA exam changes every three years and I know things do change quickly, but um, if you pass it, the latest version, you'll be pretty up to date with all your knowledge. And I've said you can interact with uh, many different departments and people because you understand quite a lot about a lot of different subjects. And you can move into many other roles, which is what I'm going to come on to uh, in, a, in a moment. But what I'm saying is the network is still at the core of everything. The network uh, design before you have any equipment and you even know what you want. Planning and growth if your company is growing and changing and resilience. The cloud computing and SDN are talked about uh, and DevOps also still built on the core network. Uh, managing projects, uh, technical or non-technical and obviously the security of your network. Uh, what's required if it's something you're considering y you need around two or three months of study some people take a bit longer and if you're busy with a family and commuting it could take a bit longer if you've already got a bit of knowledge then it'll be quicker obviously if you want to buy books uh, kindle books are around 20 30 dollars each i think uh, printed books a little bit more so 80 to 100 dollars for that software generally speaking free you can um Download Packet Tracer for free from Cisco now and GNS3. Practice exams, you can get free ones online or uh, just pay a few dollars for them. The exam fee, check it yourself, it's around $250 to take the CCNA exam. You don't need to pass any exams before this. Alright, I just wanted to show you one more thing. Uh, if you are interested in taking uh, the course, come and check out, please, howtonetwork.com. We've actually got over 30 courses which are included in the membership, but in particular there's a primer, if you don't know anything about Cisco, there's a primer course on there, and then the CCNA simplified course here. Sample video, uh, all the subjects are explained to you here, taught by myself. I wrote uh, the best-selling book that's on Amazon at the moment. And these are all the subjects with uh, a bunch of exams and support material also for you. And also something that uh, very few other people do, there's actually live Cisco racks available 24-7 on the website. So you can log into live Cisco switches and routers and do your configuration. This is the topology here. 
you can configure just a couple of routers or an entire network using our labs and we've also got tons of practice exams so um, in my humble opinion it's very worth it no matter what IT career you're looking to go into you can use it as a core and um, hopefully I'll help you achieve that goal thanks for watching